March 5, March 5. Okay, this tip is for you live scopers. Those that you that have a Garmin live scope on the front of your boat. When you see a bass that's moving fast, moving fast, you see them on your, on your live scope, on your screen, it's moving fast. What does that tell you about that fish? March 5. Good morning, guys and girls. Read down a Catch a Better Life book on a Catch a Better Life channel. That's right, right there. That book right there. That will absolutely change your life for the better. We start out reading. We read these every morning at 5 o'clock Central Time. We actually don't read them at 5 o'clock. It's not daylight at 5 o'clock. We post them every morning at 5 o'clock Central Time on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. Also on Facebook, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters. If you're on Facebook, go on there. Over 660,000 people on there. 28,000 people on the Catch a Better Life channel on youtube uh, we also have jimmy houston outdoors fishing channel on youtube and jimmy and chris houston's twin eagle ranch three channels on youtube make sure that you're subscribed to all three uh today we're looking at john 10 28 by the way you want to copy of this book you can get it at jimmyhouston.com barnes and noble hobby lobby books of a million bass pro shop cabela's john 10 28 says this is red letters by the way i give them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. I give them eternal life, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Here's what I wrote about that. Shad kills, a situation where a significant number of shad die, happen in most man-made lakes during hard winters. Perfectly normal, and there's still a plenty of shad to spawn and replenish that bait fish population. Shad kills provide incredible fishing. I mean, you fish around a shad kill, usually happens this time of the year. Incredible fishing. Shad colored crankbaits, smaller spinner baits, those smaller spinner baits like a red man work real well around these dying shad. I'd use chartreuse and white, chartreuse and blue, white, solid white, those three colors fishing around on those around those shad kills. Unlike those shad, we're not doomed to death. But we have been given eternal life. Did you hear what I said? We are not doomed to death. Yes, we will die. We are living in the land of the dying here on earth. We will die, but we're not doomed to death. In today's scripture, Jesus was talking to religious Jews who wanted to stone him. Now, that's right. The people that thought they were righteous, the people that were religious, the people that were following at least most of God's laws, they were trying to stone him, trying to kill Jesus when he spoke these words right here. He was talking about his followers. He wasn't talking about those religious Jews that was trying to kill him. He was talking about his followers, his sheep, to whom he guaranteed eternal life. And he proved it too, by the way. He was speaking to you and me. That's who he was speaking to. Plus, Jesus was warning the devil. He was warning the devil that no person, that no thing can take us away from him. The devil, you ain't got a chance. You can't get me. I belong to Jesus. Throughout all eternity, nothing can destroy us, not even death. Yeah, we're going to die here on this earth. That, not, that doesn't destroy us. That changes immediately to an eternity in heaven. Jesus has won every victory over death. And he has given that life-winning trophy to you and me as well. We have the same victory over death that Jesus has. Gosh, I love that scripture. I love that scripture. I give them eternal life. That's what being saved, that's what being a born-again Christian, that's what honoring God in everything you do, that's what it's all about, eternal life. We're going to have eternal life one way or the other. We'll be either alive in either heaven or hell forever. Here's our tip for today. When you see a fast-moving bass on your fish finder, that fish is usually ready to bite. You see one that's moving fast, you throw that bait out in front of him. Don't throw where he is because he's going to be gone by the time your bait gets there. You throw that bait out in front of him, get down to, down to a depth, get it, keep it over the top of him. Don't let it go down below him. Don't try to bring it right to his mouth. Run it over the top of him. You try to bring it right to his mouth, usually he won't bite it. You bring it over the top of him, those fish usually bite. When I see one that's really swimming fast, that's the fish I'm going to catch just about every single time. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.